Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am a mother of four kiddos ages 16, 12, 8, and 1. So I am a busy mom here and on my channel you will find all types of grocery hauls, cook with me's, get it done. And I'm super excited because in this video it is a collaboration with my good friend here on YouTube and on Instagram, Erica. And on her channel you will find all sorts of inspiration with which include get it done, clean with me's, DIY. You will find lots and lots of cleaning motivation on her channel. So today we have collaborated on a cook with me and I'm super excited because this is my husband's favorite recipe. So I do this on our anniversary for New Year's and it's basically a, a copycat of the angry crab which is local here and is basically like a seafood boil and in my I I like to add potatoes and shrimp and sometimes crab legs. I'm going to hop over to Costco and see if they have any crab legs. I like to get them there because they're a lot more affordable there at Costco. So I hope you guys really do enjoy this video. Make sure to head over to Erica's channel. I will make sure to link it down below and let's go get started on this seafood boil. So to start out, we are going to make our own Cajun seasoning. You can definitely buy this and just use these, which are already made for you at the grocery store. But I'm not going to use these as these contain salt and I like to control all the salt in my boil. So I'm going to not use these and I'm going to use these to make my Cajun seasoning and then I'm gonna set this aside and prepare everything else. So into my bowl, I'm going to add four tablespoons of paprika two tablespoons of dry oregano two tablespoons of chili powder two tablespoons of ground black pepper next we're going to add two tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of onion powder one and two we're gonna add one tablespoon of basil. One. We're also gonna add one tablespoon of thyme. There's the thyme. I'm going to put the lid on here and give it a good shake. And I use about three fourths of this inside this recipe. I do um, like to save this just to have this on hand. This is really good like in pastas to make it more like a Cajun flavored pasta. And keep note that this does not have salt. There's no salt inside of here because I do like to control the salt. If you don't mind the salt, then you can definitely just use the Cajun seasoning that's already made for you at the grocery store as they do add salt, but I like to control my salt so I don't add salt into my homemade Cajun seasoning. So we're gonna set this aside. Let me make sure I give it a good mix. We're gonna set this aside and start on our boil. For our boil, I have a huge deep pot right here. I'm gonna fill it up with water because I do have crab legs, maybe up like three fourths full. I'm gonna fill it up with water and bring it up to a boil. And then I'll show you what else I'll add inside of here. So here are some things that I'm gonna add to my boil. My water is getting ready to boil. So I have about three pounds of shrimp. I have a few crab legs. I have some corn here that's already cooked. I have some potatoes here two that are cooked as well. I cook these in the air fryer for about a half an hour on 400 and I also cook these in the air fryer on 350 for about 10 minutes. I also have some hot sausage here. It's about a pound. The sausage is already cooked from the store, but I will saute this in butter, so I'll show you guys that as well. Here are our two sticks of butter, which comes out to about eight ounces, so I'll use this whole block of butter. I also have a lemon, which I squeezed out the juice, and I'm going to use this for my boil. I will make sure to show you guys that as well. And this is the juice of this lemon. I'm also going to use about a tablespoon or two of olive oil, and this is going to help not burn my butter so I'll add this into my butter once it starts to come up to a melt. I have about seven garlic cloves here which I minced. You can definitely buy the ones that are already pre-minced. I just had some garlic cloves on hand so I decided just 
to mince them myself and it's about, I believe it's seven here. And I'm going to use some sea salt to taste because again, my Cajun seasoning, which I just made, does not have any salt. So I'm going to add my own salt. I like to control the salt. I'm going to add a little bit of this achiote, sazon goya, just about a pinch, just to give it some more like flavor and some more color. So it's sazon goya. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of lemon pepper and I'll make sure to show you guys that as well. Okay guys, so my water is pretty much up to a boil. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my two lemon and I'm gonna add the peels into the water and I'm gonna add a little bit of this lemon juice into the water as well, maybe about half of it. And if you want me to type up this recipe, I definitely can. Just let me know in the comments below if you want more of a formal type of a recipe. So now that that's in there, we're going to add, we're going to add some salt into our water, maybe about a tablespoon or so, oh, maybe about two tablespoons. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of our homemade Cajun seasoning inside our water, just to flavor up our water here. Gonna add about a good heaping tablespoon in there. I'll let that come up to another boil. Gonna give this a mix. So once it comes up back to a boil, I'm gonna add my corn in here and leave my corn in here for about five minutes just so the flavors can infuse into my corn. Here is my corn, it's gonna go inside the water. Try not to make a mess because I'm doing this with one hand. Okay, so we're gonna leave it in here for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been in here for about five minutes. I'm gonna take out the corn slowly because this water is hot and put it here into my serving tray. I pick these up at Costco, it's just a huge serving tray. You can definitely use an oven bag. I like to serve it here in this serving tray just because my crab legs feel a lot better. I'm going to take these all out. And once I take these all out, I'm going to add my shrimp in here. So here's my shrimp. I'm going to add this into my pot here. I just need both of my hands, so I'll show you before and after I add the shrimp into my pot. So I've added my shrimp in here. It's, it went to the bottom. I'm just gonna leave it in here until the shrimp turns pink. So I'm just gonna let it cook until it turns pink. So just a few minutes inside this water. Okay, so I took out the shrimp. So I'm going to go ahead and add my crab legs into the boiling hot water. I put the shrimp into my tray and I'm going to boil these into the same hot water for about seven to 10. One leg, here's another leg. So again, we're going to boil this for about seven to 10 minutes. Here's another one. And we just want the flavors to infuse inside the crab legs. So it's already cooked, but we want those seasonings to go inside of there. So I'm gonna put a, oh, let's do eight minutes. Okay, so it's gonna be in there for about eight minutes. My crab legs have been in here for about eight minutes and they have all that flavoring inside. I'm gonna go ahead and put these inside my tray here as well. So this water right here, I'm going to go ahead and pour this out and I'm going to use the same pot and put the two sticks of butter inside of here and I will show you guys that as well. Okay, so here is my stock pot. I went ahead and emptied out the stock pot. I have my crab legs here with all the stuff that we just cooked. My heat, I'm going to put it on medium low because I don't want my butter to burn. And I'm going to go ahead and add two sticks of butter into this pot, the same pot, so you don't have to wash a whole bunch of dishes after this meal. Here is my butter, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Kerrygold butter. So I'm going to add my butter inside of here and I'm also going to add about a tablespoon or two of olive oil and what the olive oil does it just helps my butter not to burn and turn that burnt color. I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon or two of olive oil. We don't want our butter to burn. And then I am going to add my sausage and I like to just give it a little saute. So here is my sausage. I'm just gonna let it saute in here maybe for two minutes or three. And then I'm gonna remove my sausage and add it into our tray right here. Okay, so this has been sauteing for about two minutes. That's all I want. Go ahead and transfer my sausage over here to my tray. This 
recipe is pretty easy just because you're using the same pot and you don't have a whole lot of dishes to wash and my husband and my kids love this they feel like a birthday party you know when it's just you and your immediate family or like an anniversary dinner you can surprise your husband if they like seafood of course so i'm going to go ahead and take out all of this sausage and put it into my tray Okay, so now I'm going to add my minced garlic right into this butter. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of this lemon pepper. So two tablespoons. One. There's two. Remember that Cajun seasoning that we made? We're going to add most of this. Let's see. Let's add one heaping tablespoon, two heaping tablespoons, three heaping tablespoons, and four. For. I'm gonna save this for some other meals. This, this is really good with Alfredo pasta. It kind of it gives it like this Cajun flavor. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna give this a mix. Let me show you guys. There it is. We're also going to add the rest of our lemon juice. And you guys, these trays I love. I got these on Amazon. These are really good for the kids for like lunch and stuff. I'll make sure to link these down below. It comes in this color and pink and blue. Various ones. So very, very cute. I'm also going to add a little bit of achiote. If you don't have this, that's fine. This just gives it like a like a little bit of a Latin kick. I'm only going to use about a pinch. So maybe like half of a teaspoon to give us some more color, some more flavor. And then remember that our homemade Cajun does not have salt in it. So I'm going to go ahead and add some salt into this as well. To add, I don't know, because the butter has salt. So maybe like three-fourths of a tablespoon or even maybe half of a tablespoon. Yeah, I think three-fourths is good because the butter has salt. So here is our seasoning all bubbly with the butter and the minced garlic and the lemon pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now. And I'm going to pour this over this. Okay, so you want to be very careful because your pot is hot. And you could definitely um, use like a smaller pot, but I just didn't want to wash a bunch of dishes. So we just use it on the same one. You're just gonna sprinkle that all over, just like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix and I will show you guys how it turns out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you guys will go over to Erica's channel and make sure to check out her cook with me as well. And I shall see you guys next week. And I think I'll be heading over to do my grocery haul sometime this week. And I will make sure to share my Costco grocery haul with you guys next week. I saw a lot of new items at Costco, which I'm super excited about. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and Stick around if you like videos like these and all sorts of motherhood stuff as well. Bye guys and I'll see you guys next week.